What is up? What is up? What is up, everybody? This is your boy Is Nefarious, and I am here for another edition of your favorite series. Here we go, the Pittsburgh Steelers series in the Premier Madden League. And before we jump into it, just gonna shout out um, John Madden. Obviously, most of us in the Madden community uh, know that John Madison Madden re recently passed, and uh, a quick shout out to him. Uh, without him, we wouldn't have this series. Without him, we wouldn't have. You know a game where we spend most of our hours uh you know escaping real life so uh quick shout out to him now let's jump into the series and see what we're doing this week all right so here we are week three we're taking on the tampa bay buccaneers and uh we got mock draft one but we don't even have a first round pick so that mock draft doesn't mean anything to us right now uh player meeting we got short week so let's see what what this is i think we've already had this uh, we got a Thursday night game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, so they're going to go over that. Uh, obviously, we have a short week, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's see what the, uh, the the choices are. Uh, beat the Buccaneers and commit one or fewer turnovers. All right, so that's going to be the goal. Hopefully, we get some XP from that. Um, we're also in the weekly strategy knowing that... We might just do half pads and all backups or something like that because we want to make sure guys are, are healthy going into this game. Um, but let's take a look at the Buccaneers and see what we're dealing with. All right, so uh, first and foremost, uh, Tom Brady is gone. He got traded for Drew Locke and uh, multiple other pieces. So Tom Brady is no longer the starting quarterback for the Buccaneers. He's now rocking with Drew Locke and he's got Bo Nitz who's uh, right behind him. Um, running back, you got Leonard Fournette, uh, Ronald Jones, uh, Keith Sean Vaughn, um, Devontae Lee, uh, there was a joke, uh, during last season that I was going to take him, uh, in the first round, um, he was a halfback, 87 speeds, 5'9", 240 pounds, he transformed him into a fullback in his depth chart, which is very interesting, um, he is a big boy, so maybe that, that was the reason for it, maybe he is a good, uh, blocker. Um, but he changed them to a fullback, so that's interesting to see. Um, wide receiver, he's got Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Scotty Miller, uh, and then he's got, is this uh, Jalen uh, Darden? Yeah, I thought it was a rookie for a second, but pretty much got the same wide receiver core. He added uh, the Albert O from the Broncos along in that trade. It looks like he's got OJ Howard injured, so we don't have to deal with OJ, but we have to watch for Albert O, who's pretty, pretty solid, 6'5". Um, I know he's very athletic, so we definitely got to uh, watch out for him. Offensive line is very, very solid. Uh, it's going to be difficult to deal with uh, from left to right. You know, a very good offensive line. Uh, defensive line, uh, looks like he switched to a 4-3. He's got Shaquille Barrett and Bradley Chubb as his ends. Uh, then his defensive tackles, he's got uh, Khalil Davis and Vit Villa. Uh, Vit Villa, we actually hit him up to try to get Vit Villa. He, he wasn't for it, though. Um... Left outside linebacker to right uh, to right. You got Devin White. You got Levante David in the middle And then you got Leighton Van Der Esch. So he's got a really good linebacker core uh, I feel like it's gonna be tough to run against them. We'll see but I feel like it, it, it's possibly gonna be tough to run against them uh, The defensive backs as well is a very solid uh, Colin Davis is a true number one uh, then you got Jamel Dean and uh, Murphy Bunting both really solid as well. So He's got a good defense. He's got a good team overall. Uh, free safety, Antoine Winf uh, uh, Winfield Jr. Um, and then uh, Josh Norman is a strong safety. I mean, from pretty much everybody on this team, like he has a good team. There's not very many weaknesses. Uh, you could say the weakness might be that offense a little bit now uh, since they don't have Tom Brady anymore. But they still have Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. Uh, they have Albert O. The offensive line is phenomenal. The defense is really, really solid as well. Uh, let's jump over to our team, the Steelers, and let's see what's happening with them because we got some decisions to make. All right, so here we are taking a look at the Steelers. And first and foremost, Jared Goff threw for four TDs, had one interception against the Falcons, really put himself in that starting role a little more as far as having a battle with JT Daniels. Uh, JT Daniels still has a fantastic arm and could possibly take over, take over the starting position. But right now, it's trending, trending in the right direction for Jared Goff. Uh, moving on, running back, we brought back Jalen Samuels to play fullback. So he, as you can see at the bottom of the depth chart for running back, he is back just to be that fullback for us. So he was brought back. I felt like our running game has struggled a little bit out the gate. Um, I feel like it was a little bit better when we had Jalen Samuels being that lead blocker. 
uh, for Najee towards the end of the last season. So he'll be back with us, taking over that fullback role. Uh, wide receivers, uh, Amari Cooper and Chase Claypool have been phenomenal this season. Both have over 200 yards, 100 yard games in each game that we played. Um, they both getting open, they're both making plays. Really can't be upset either way. Um, George Pickens is our number three for now. Uh, we haven't really had a third wide receiver out there, but George Pickens that for now maybe uh, Gary Je Gary Jennings gets in there a little bit. Um, if uh, George Pickens doesn't start, you know, creating separation and getting involved in the offense. Uh, right now it's just been a Amari Cooper Chase Claypool show, and for tight end Rob Gronkowski has had a really good season. Had a really good game last game. Had over a hundred yards and six receptions. Um, really cemented his spot as the starting tight end. Um, you know, he, he's an older veteran. Sam Laporte is sitting right behind him. Um, definitely could see both of them being involved in the offense. Uh, offensive line, Kevin Dotson right now. We really don't have a choice, uh, you know, as far as offensive line. I We got the rookie behind Kevin Dotson, Austin the coolest. Um, he's behind uh, Kevin Dotson, but I... I can't say he's ready i don't think he's ready to be that starting uh left tackle for us kevin dodson is definitely uh the most ready at this point so we're going to keep rocking with him uh logan bruss uh kendra green usually our starter but logan bruss is jumping in he's the most ready out of all the backups i think to to step in and play a role um you know our offensive line hasn't been terrible uh maybe the running game has more to do to the offensive line than it does the uh you know the fullback but, you know, that's debatable as well. AJ Kane is our starting center. Uh, the offensive line, like, all in all, Brandon Linder, uh, Trey Turner, like, it, it can't really make any changes. I haven't really noticed anything where we have to make a, a change at any position uh, in the offensive line. Would I rather have Kendrick Green? Hell yeah, but Kendrick Green is injured, so we got to deal with what we got to deal with. Now the defense, where we've been struggling. Back-to-back uh, -back weeks, we've given up over 40 points. We really need to straighten out this defense. Start with the left end. Stefan to it. Do we move Stefan to it and uh, have somebody else come in? The running game has struggled, but I don't think it's been because of Stefan to it. So we're going to rock with him for now. Uh, the run defense has struggled. Uh, right end, we got Cameron Hayward at the right end. Um, we got Zimmer that we could put in there. I think Andrew Brown, yeah, he's still injured. He's our other option. Uh, we're gonna rock with Cameron Hayward for now. We're gonna rock with Cameron Hayward. I don't think our front uh, our front three has been the issue. They've been taking up blocks and doing what they're supposed to. Uh, we'll get to where the issue I think is. Uh, moving on, uh, defensive tackle right now we got Linville Joseph. We're gonna actually switch that. I don't know why he got up there. Uh, oh, because Tavondre Sweat came back. So Tavondre Sweat is back with us. So um, maybe Tavondre Sweat gets in there a little bit more. He's uh, one of the rookies we drafted. Uh, maybe he gets in there because he's a little bit better of a pass rusher um, than Jordan Davis. And he's not as good as uh, Linville Joseph. We could also put Linville uh, Joseph in there as a pass rusher. So that's basically what we're, uh, you know, we're doing. We're going to rock with Cameron Hayward. We're going to rock with Stefan Tuitt. And then we're going to rock with Jordan Davis in the middle. So um, left outside linebacker. Right now we got Jeremiah Moon. This could definitely change. We might need somebody that's a little bit better in coverage. Uh, just because on, you know, three fours, uh, Jeremiah Moon's not promised to always be rushing the passer. So I think we're going to move Ulysses Gilbert into that starting left outside linebacker until TJ Watt gets back. We're going to have him there. I have him be that starting left outside linebacker and just use Jeremiah Moon um, as a, you know, a pass rush uh type of substitution like a third down type of substitution so uh ulysses gilbert is gonna rock as a starting light left outside linebacker because i could fit i feel like he could rush the passer but also drop in coverage uh middle linebacker right now we got devin bush jermaine cotter uh our defense hasn't been good our rush defense hasn't been good either uh jermaine cotter has been brought in to be the um kind of that run stuff in type of uh, middle linebacker to help out Devin Bush. It hasn't really panned out right now. What we're going to do is we're going to put Peyton Wilson in there um, as our second linebacker, and we're going to move Buddy Johnson up. We're going to try Peyton Wilson, but we could end up going with Buddy Johnson in the near future. 
But Peyton Wilson is going to jump in as that starting middle linebacker next to Devin Bush. So uh, the rookie's going to get his shot. Jermaine Carter had his shot. The defense hasn't looked good, so we're going to make that change. Right outside linebacker, we're going to leave Samson there because he could drop into coverage as well as rush the passer. So I like him there. Um, cornerback. Right now we got Bradley Roby as our number one. We got Amon Garner and Justin Lane. Um, not really upset by the corners. Uh, I don't think. I mean, we gave up 300 yards passing to the Falcons. Uh, one, a couple of plays were actually on the free safety. Um, but I don't. I don't think we need to make a change there. Bradley Roby is going to stay our number one. Amon Garner is going to be our number two, and Justin Lane. Uh, Justin Lane is going to hop in when Amon Garner moves into the slot. Um, free safety. Right now we got Minka. That's not going to change. Minka is definitely a playmaker. We tried Chris Wilcox yesterday as a, uh, you know, as the substitution when we moved Terrell Edmonds into the box. Uh, this could change as far as uh, the backup for. Uh, Terrell Edmonds that other safety we might move Bobby Price into that situation and see how he does uh, We gave Chris Wilcox the opportunity. He there was one play where Kyle Pitts jumped right in front of him for an easy touchdown So um, I think we're gonna rock with Bobby Price for now on when we make that substitution uh, So it'll be Bobby Price and Minka at the top and then uh, Terrell Edmonds will be in that linebacker position next to Devin Bush and then we'll have um, You know Amon Gardner uh, Bradley Roby and Justin Lane. All I know is that something has to change in this defense. We can't be giving up 40 points every week and expect to win. So something definitely has to change. Um, when it comes to the third down back, I think we're going to rock with um, Le'Veon Bell still. Maybe we bring in Kellen Balage as that third down back. Um... We, we like having a third down back being different from Najee Harris because we do have to watch about the usage rule uh, in this league. So having Najee Harris just be that third down and regular, uh, you know, first two down back kind of helps us maintain that. Uh, power back is going to re remain Najee. Um, slot wide receiver. We could actually change this. Yeah, we might rock with George Pickens as a slot guy for now. Maybe make some changes, but that's what we're going to rock with. A right a rushing right end uh, Samson's gonna stay there I think he's our best uh, a best speed rusher that we have uh, and then we got Frank Clark on the other side I think that has been fine um, interior rushing we got Stefan to it we got Cameron Hayward both have been fine in nickel situations um, I think we just got to do a better job in the second level of coming up and making tackles and also you know making sure we got to do a better job of making better play calls as well um, but that's pretty much going to do it for changes this week. Um, we're not going to change much else. Uh, we're going to rock with Jared Goff as a starter. We're going to do everything else the same. We're going to see if that those little changes that we made help the running game and also help the run defense and help the defense overall. Um, but that that is our main focus. Now let's jump into the training and let's see what we're doing this week as far as training. All right, so here we are. Uh, short week, so we're trying to maintain a healthy squad. So... Uh, we did a lot of half, uh, we did half pads on both, but we did a lot of backups, uh, a lot of splits, stuff like that. Uh, just trying to maintain a healthy squad. Uh, total offensive rank is number five, total defensive rank is number 29. Uh, hopefully that changes this week. Hopefully we can get that defensive rank a little bit better. Um, just take a look at the team stats. Uh, defense, defensive scoring went number 32. We allowed 92 points in two weeks. Um, offensive scoring went number 18 with 61. Uh, defense total yards per game 470 we're number 29 offensive total yards per game 459 we're number five um, defensive pass yards per game uh, 323 we're number 28 offensive pass yards per game uh, 349 we're number four uh, defensive rush yards per game we're number 25 with 147 offensive rush yards per game we're number 26 with 79 uh, defensive turnovers we only got one and then offensive turnovers we got six so uh, that's telling you that our <laughs> you know, that's pretty much telling you our defense is absolute garbage. Uh, definitely got to work on that. Definitely got to work on controlling the ball a little, little bit more with um, Najee Harris in that run game. Uh, but hopefully everybody comes out healthy. Uh, right now we're focused training Jordan Davis, Najee Harris, and Amon Garner. Uh, Want to get these guys up there. Uh, we need to get uh, Najee Harris up there to try to get his second ability. Um, so just taking a look. Nobody's injured. 
nobody's injured so we're all set so that's good Every, everybody's healthy uh, on the offensive side defensive side hopefully everybody remains healthy all right so we we got away with no injuries so that's huge um but yeah uh, the training's done. We got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We know it's going to be a difficult matchup. It's going to be a tough, uh, tough one for us. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into the game and see how we do. All right, so here we are. <clears throat> we just finished our game with the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. As you can see, 27 to 24 was the final score. Let's go through the team stats. Uh, we controlled offense. We controlled the rushing yards, the passing yards, most first downs. Um, we had uh, total yards 485. We were plus one in the turnovers, so we won the turnover battle. Uh, third down conversions, eight for 11, so solid on third down. Red zone percentage, four of four, so when we were in the red zone, we didn't make the mistakes. Uh, we had two red zone field goals and 20 minutes to 19 on a time of possession. We're winning the time of possession in every game, which I like. I really like that. Um, hopefully, you know, we can continue off this success. Uh, Jared Goff had uh, 19 for 26, 323, 29 yards, one TD, two interceptions. So not the best of games, but a solid game. Uh, Najee Harris finally broke 100 yards for us. Five yards of carry, uh, had two touchdowns. He did have the one fumble, though. So uh, that was definitely tough, having, having that one fumble. Uh, we were able to control him, make sure he couldn't run. And that was a lot of our, our success, having him put the ball in the air. He's not the greatest passer in the world, so it really worked to our advantage. Uh, forgive me, I'm a little sick, so uh, if it's kind of terrible right now, uh, I just just got to roll with it. Um, receiving, Chase Claypool, nine for, uh, no, six for 129. Uh, no TDs, but, you know, he's been our number one wide receiver. He's up there in uh, receiving yards for the whole league. Amari Cooper, five for 84. Uh, both of these guys have been heavily involved in the passing game. Uh, we're not just dumping it off to the running back every play or dumping it off to the tight end. Uh, we're actually getting our wide receivers used. Uh, George Pickens got some, some love. He had two receptions for 28 yards. Um, Vincent Smith also had the TD. He had a jet sweep for a TD, 10 yards, so a, a nice little run from him. Uh, but we're, we're happy with the way it's going right now. Uh, blocking. Um, we don't really have to look at that. We did give up one sack. Uh, we had a bunch of interceptions. Bobby Price, the guy that we brought in, uh, instead of uh, is it Chris Wilcox? Yeah, the, the uh, Chris Wilcox is the other guy we could bring in. But we decided to go with Bobby Price this time. It worked out. He had one interception. He had two tackles. He made some plays. Uh, Devin Bush had an interception as well. Justin Lane made a really good play uh, against Mike Evans, jumping up, jumping in front of the pick there. Uh, Minka had a, a good game. Uh, Ulysses Gilbert also two tackles for loss and one interception. So having him come into the game was huge. Um, but we had five picks. We had pass deflections. We had a few there. Bobby Price again making a play. Bradley Roby he could all also had a pick. We had the two fumbles, one on a kickoff return. Um, we'll show you in a second. But one on the kickoff return, one on a regular uh, possession. Uh, by his middle linebacker, Najee fumble on it. Didn't, didn't go too well with the coaching staff. You got to secure that ball um, and make sure we ain't giving them easy possessions. Uh, but let's jump over to the film room and take a look at some of the scores in the game. All right, so this play we couldn't show. Uh, apparently, it doesn't have it for us. Uh, first and goal on the one, we were able to rush it in with Najee Harris, so that was a big play. Uh, then his first drive here, we're going to show. Um, his first drive, you know, uh, he's on the 25. I don't think he's made a play yet. I don't think he's done anything yet, like gotten positive yardage or anything. So this might have been a second and 11, second and 11. So we were able to stuff the run quick, uh, make him think he has to pass. He's going to come out. He's going to drop back. He's going to look around. He's going to try to go for Chris Godwin on a corner out. But we got Mika Fitzpatrick there playing man-to-man -man pretty much in a cover three zone. He matches up with that guy. Easy pick. Uh, for him, uh, setting is up in good field position, so that was a great play. Uh, and then it leads to this uh, Najee, uh, Najee Harris rushing touchdown. So right now it's seven nothing. Uh, we're running the, uh, a stretch play right now. It's, it's supposed to go to the right. We noticed the numbers after we uh, moved Chase Claypool from the right to the left. We noticed the numbers advantage on the left hand side. So we say, all right, we're gonna take that. So we go on the left hand side. He cuts up. <coughs> he cuts up inside. Uh, with a gaping hole as you can see uh, we cut up inside we got a plenty of space and we take it all the way into the end zone for a touchdown 
giving us a 14 0 lead and we pretty much had the game in the palm of our hands there uh then on his next drive it's already 14 0 on his next drive he's he's actually driving this time he's on our side of the field he's gonna drop back and look for a pass he's gonna try to hit a crosser here but we were playing this pretty well devin bush uh the AI, ai controlled devin bush playing this pretty well he's gonna come up with an interception so uh, uh setting us up on the 20 so a good little interception there uh then on a third and three we make a big mistake here um so we're running <coughs> excuse me so we're running a rpo uh we're thinking you know rpos have worked so far because it's in baseline maybe this will work so we run an rpo on a third and three instead of taking a run we try to pass it and as you can see here, he's running some type of man coverage, and Carlton Davis blows right past George Pickens, who misses the block, pretty much comes off that block for no reason. And then Carlton Davis is going to take that and take it all the way to the house for a touchdown. Uh, definitely a bad play. Um, just looking back at it, I just want to look back at it. We had the numbers inside, and the way this was playing, we definitely should have took the run here. Uh, we had a guard coming over. We would have had this hole right in between the, the two guards. But then, um, actually, we probably would get stuffed because Shaquille Barrett comes off his block pretty easily after that. So, um, you know, definitely don't want the pick six. Take our run and punt it away. We're already up 14-0. We definitely don't need to run it. I mean, we definitely don't need the first down. Uh, we could have just ran it and, you know, punted it away. But, you know, bad play call. Sets him up. Uh, actually gives him some momentum. Uh, and then... You're going to see a uh, a fumble recovery on this, if it allows me. It doesn't look like it does. Uh, but he gets a fumble recovery on Vincent Smith. He runs it for three yards and then gets hit stick fumble. So it sets him up in good position. And then it's going to come down to this right here. He gets a field goal. So luckily, we didn't give anybody any any uh, momentum there. He just got a field goal. He didn't get a touchdown. Uh, then on a first and 10, we get the ball back. Right now, it's 17 to, uh, 14 to 10. Uh, we gave him a bunch of momentum with the interception for a touchdown and then for the fumble. So we're trying to make sure that we uh, we get some of the momentum back. We're going to run it up inside. He's going to get a hit stick fumble. And then Vip V is going to pick that up. Luckily, we chase him down and force his offense onto the field. Uh, his offense was struggling. So keeping his offense on the field was huge. Not giving him a free touchdown out of that. And then here in the red zone, we got a chance to go up 21 to 10. Uh, just been a bad offensive day so far. Uh, so we run a little high-low read. Uh, we got a crosser, and then we got the running back. We could have hit the running back immediately if we looked at him right away. And he could have got us a first down. But we try to hit Gron Gronkowski while we're getting hit in the pocket. <coughs> it leads to a interception where he's going to take it all the way down in, in, to the 30 on his side of the field. So... Luckily, he didn't take it back, but, you know, that's a bad interception. Then a few plays later, we're going to get it back right here. Uh, he's running a cover. Uh, he's running a bunch set. So we come out in a cover four and try to match it up a little bit. So he's running a bunch. We try to match it up. He's going to try to hit Mike Evans here for a uh, first down. We jump that with Justin Lane. A nice interception by him. He kind of warps in front of it for an uh, interception that sets us up in good field position. But we missed a 49-yard field goal to end the half. So we weren't able to get... Actually, did we hit it? No, we didn't hit it. Yeah, so, so we missed that. So we weren't able to go up 17 to 10. It's still 14 to 10. He gets the ball first in this half. Um, I think we got an interception. Yeah, so he's starting to drive here. Third and seven on R20. Uh, a big little play here. Uh, Drew Locke's going to drop back to pass. Not a good day for Drew Locke at all. He's not going to notice that this... Uh, we're running a cover four and Bobby Price is going to match up against Chris Godwin as he comes into the middle Bobby Price makes a great play showing that he should be in the starting lineup makes a great play there He's going to set us up at the 10 with the ball. So huge play by him uh, But unfortunately, we only get a field goal out of that. So it puts us up 17 to 10 at this point So we're up by 10. I mean up by 7 up by a score. So uh, We're up by a score now. We got the ball back. I think he's got the ball actually uh, and he's gonna drive and he's gonna have Drew Locke run a read option here He catches catches us by surprise runs a read option. He's got nothing but daylight in front of him He's gonna take it all the way into the end zone uh, So that makes it 17 to 17 a good little drive a good little play call there uh, Then we're gonna have Vincent Smith on a jet sweep as you can see he's already starting across the field 
we hit Vincent Smith on the jet sweep. He's going to get to the outside and pretty much an easy run. Once he got to the outside, nobody's catching him. He goes in for a touchdown, making it uh, 24 to 17 at this point. And there's not much time left. I think there's like five minutes. We need to stop. But unfortunately, we don't get that stop. So what he's going to do is he's going to try to sneak it in with Drew Locke. This play was actually called back. He sneaks it in with Drew Locke. Unfortunately, he doesn't get it. Uh, it was overturned. We didn't even challenge it, but it was overturned because uh, I think it was inside two minutes. So he didn't get that. But then he's going to hand it off to his fullback, Devontae Lee, uh, for an easy touchdown. Untouched, just right into the end zone. Uh, then we're here. This is actually a big third down. A big third down play. we got to find a way to convert. We actually run a play where we, we weren't comfortable with what we had. So we actually changed this up a little bit. And we ran a slant underneath. And Amari Cooper is actually going to find some uh, green grass behind the uh, linebacker that was playing that deep third over there. Well, that uh, seam flat over there. So we find him. He gets to the edge. So it's, uh, we're set up on the 18. And with no time left, we're pretty much got the game in hand. Uh, so basically, we run it down. It's not going to show it, but we get a field goal by Chris Boswell with like one second left. Um, but yeah, we're, we're proud that we got, we're happy we got the win. Uh, we move on ne to next week when we take on the Cleveland Browns. Hopefully we have a, uh, a good game there and, uh, we go to two and two, but one and two is not the end of the world. We definitely wish we were two and one at this point. Um, next week's going to be a huge week for us. So hopefully we get the win, uh, but that's going to do it for us today. Everybody have a great day and we'll see you next time.